What's up guys, Justin here with thesketchupessentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. So in this video, we're gonna check out an extension from Fredo 6 that adds functions to the SketchUp Move tool. Before we get started, I wanna take a second to thank my three newest supporters on Patreon. So big thank you to Donald Clark, Michael Romo, and Mark Amon. Patreon, as most of you know, is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. Um, in addition to that, one of the perks of being a supporter on Patreon is you get to vote on the extension that I cover every week. So if that's something you're interested in, uh, you want to support the show and also maybe vote on the extension I cover every week, make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. Plugin name, move along. Plugin developer, Fredo6. Plugin cost, it's free. Please note that this extension is contained within the Fredo Tools extension. So you're going to have to download Fredo Tools and uh, pick Move Along from the list when Fredo Tools pops up. Where can you get it? You can download it from the Sketchication extension warehouse. Tool Functions. This tool adds new functions to the SketchUp Move tool, like additional inferences, auto lock directions, moving along defined directions, and much more. As most of you know, SketchUp has a fairly robust inferencing engine, but it can get difficult to move objects along things that aren't necessarily along the axes. The nice thing about this extension is it automatically displays your different inferencing options, like the centers of objects, without you having to hold your mouse over different faces and trying to find the center point. It'll just automatically show them. It adds new inferencing options, like the center of boxes, without having to worry about hovering over different faces. Additional inferencing options include the center of arcs and polygons, centers of faces, centers and corners of groups and components, and more. So this tool also gives you the ability to lock a plane and move an object along a plane. So for example, if you wanted to move something along the green axis, you could just right click after you've activated move along and just lock it to a plane. So you don't have to worry about it going off into the distance somewhere that isn't on the axis you want to move it along. So one of the most powerful features of this extension is alignment mode, which allows you to align objects with other objects. As you know, it can get a little bit tricky in SketchUp to align different things, especially along objects that aren't necessarily locked to axes. It can get really hard because you have to go in and manually rotate things in order to get them aligned. This allows you to align things really quickly. So you can turn alignment mode on by um, going up to the top and clicking in the alignment mode but button, or pressing shift and tab on your keyboard. And you can see how this allows you to do powerful things like aligning curves with other curves, aligning objects with different faces, aligning inferences, and a lot more. So there's a lot more this extension can do, but I recommend you just go check it out. I will link both to the forum post, which has um, basically an overview of the tool functions, as well as to the download link to the extension itself in the notes down below. So go ahead and download it and check it out. Honestly, I would probably re replace the SketchUp Move tool with this tool set if I had the option. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Are you interested in this extension? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.